Tasman shoe. I'm gonna keep stocking for the tan. The gray color, the adult, and the kid size. So from heel to toe. Also the black color. Save yourself a good amount. So in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and review the Ugg Tasman shoe. It's gonna be a short review because I'm not gonna really do much styling with it. It's a shoe that you can just wear with any casual outfit. I want the tan color, so that's the most popular color. It's so sought after, it's always sold out, and I still can't get my hands on it. But for my mom, I got her the gray and the black color. She's not really into the tan for some reason, but the gray and the black are still neutral colors. So I know she'll love it. So hopefully I'll get really lucky and be able to score myself the tan ones that I want. I bought my mom several sizes in both the adults and the kid size because there's such a big difference in price. So if my mom doesn't really care whether it's kids or adult size, then she'll just keep the kid size and it'll save me some money. I'll go ahead and do a review between the adults and kid size so you guys can see what's the difference between the two and if it's something that you care about or you don't care and you just save yourself a good amount of money. The Tasman Uggs, the mini Uggs are so popular that anywhere you go is just not available. So I have my classic short Uggs for about maybe eight years now. They're still in really good condition. I know the mini classic Uggs are really popular too, but I just felt I didn't need another similar looking pair. So that's why I want the Tasman and also because how easy it is to just slip on a pair of shoes, right? I'm really into mules, you know, they're just so easy and comfortable, especially when I'm trying to rush out the door with the kids. This is just gonna be so convenient for me. If it's super cold outside, but it's dry and you know, there's no rain, there's no snow, I could just wear this out with some socks. It doesn't have to be thick socks, but if it's super cold, I could wear thick socks with it. But let's go ahead and review the adult and the kid size. I bought these shoes for my mom, who was a size between six and a half and seven, depending on the brand and type of shoe. But I'm a true six and a half. So her foot is a little bit bigger than mine. Here I have is the adult size six and the adult size seven. I did try both of them on and the six does fit perfectly, but a little bit snug, I say with socks, but perfectly without socks. Um, the size seven gives me maybe just a tiny bit more room, much more comfortable with the socks, but without socks, it's a little bit, I'm not gonna say big, but definitely looser, and I'm not really sure how I would feel about that. What I do know is that in the future, the more you wear this, the inside of the fur does get a little bit more matted down, and that's with pretty much all the Uggs that have these type of linings. They do get matted down, and then it does become a looser fit. So I'm thinking that when I get my Uggs, I'm going to go ahead with the smaller size 6. That is what I wear for my regular traditional classic Uggs. This is a shoe I know I'm going to get a lot of wear on because it's going to be so convenient to just slip your foot in. I am always rushing in the morning to get my kids out the door so they can catch the bus. Therefore, I know I'm not going to be wearing socks most of the time, so I'm going to go ahead with a smaller size for myself. Let me go ahead and give you a close-up of the comparison between the 6 and the 7 just so that you can see how they measure up against each other. So from heel to toe. I just want to make sure it's perfectly aligned. So as you can see, not much of a difference. not even a quarter inch. So now let's go ahead and compare the adults versus the kids. And because a size six and a half is equivalent to a four and a half, I got a four and a five in kids. So let's go ahead and compare the aesthetics between the two. This is the kid's shoe and this is the adult shoe. This is the adult size, this is the kid's shoe. So what I would say 
from looking at the two aesthetically they're not much of a difference so the sole on the kid size is a lot smaller versus the adult size and when wearing them you don't really feel a difference there's a quarter inch more on the adult size versus the kids it really depends on whether or not you care about that i would say that the adult size because it has a slightly higher platform it is just so slightly more comfortable but does that justify the price difference I would say no. If I find a kid size, I'm just gonna go ahead and go with the kids. Let's go ahead and do one outfit style. So that's all for today's video and I hope you found the review super helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the box below and uh, I'll be happy to answer them. If you have any suggestions for future videos that you'd like to see, go ahead and let me know below as well. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Thank you, bye bye. Lately, hey everyone. Hi everyone. So I have, I have my, I have my short Uggs.